Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. I'm still feeling pretty bad under the weather, so we are going to be doing another joining in prepping the pantry emergency food with Martin's Midlife Misadventures. These are my awesome new friends, and they put up some awesome prepping videos for the pantry. Please go over and check out what they're doing. Now, the video there I'm going to share today with you that they did, I'm not doing the same thing, but it's an important video for you to watch. So please go. Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Today I'm joining in with Martin's Midlife Misadventure for another great video. And they did 20 foods that will last forever prepping pantry. Now, I didn't do one of these, but this is the one I think you should go over and check. I may try to do this later down the road when I start feeling better. Uh, this was a great video and gave me a lot of great information on maybe what I should also be trying to prep for. Now, not everything they had on their list do we use and have. But that's the whole point. You have to figure out what works best for your pantry. But they gave me a great idea what I should also be looking for to build my pantry up bigger and stronger and healthier. Please go over and check out this video. I found it very, very informative. Now let's see what Grandma did today on her pantry. What is she stocking up with today? I'm still pretty sick, so I'm still running some more videos that I've already made. So you get another prepping the pantry and food storage for emergencies. Well, every time I get a little extra money, I am going to try to do a little more prepping. As you can see, I did quite a little bit of stuff that I had a terrible time last year finding. Last year, I had a horrible time getting masks. For quite some time, we couldn't even find them here, even though they told us to buy them. I went into the bank one time, and I had a scarf around my face because I didn't have any masks, because you couldn't find them to buy. And some guy gave me a lecture that that scarf was doing me no good around my face, that I needed a good mask. Well, I like to inform him, I can't find them, so this is the best I could do. Now, I think what he had was the KN95 mask. I didn't buy these. My daughter gave them to me. And I'm sure these are the best ones you can get. But you still are not easy to find. I will start looking and seeing if I can find some. But if I'm under pressure and I'm going someplace where I know I'm going to be around a lot of people, at least I have a backup one. My found these at Costco and I did buy a second one so there was another one of 75 so I have 150 uh, throwaway masks that are three lay layer con construction lightweight and I know they're not the best but at least they're better than nothing I also got this 400 glove package from uh, co from Costco also as you can see, there's 200 in each box, and this is two boxes. So that, those were not hard to buy. I, I don't know if there was a limit or not, but I was able to get that. They were hard to get last year also. Uh, the math, there is a limit, two boxes per customer. So I'll go back this coming week, and I will buy a couple more boxes. I will look and see if I can find some of these KN95 masks. If I can find them, I'll buy them because I only have two packages of five and those won't last long. But you know, you only can do what you can do. I was really excited when I went to CVS this week and they had these on sale, these hand sanitizers liquid um, for 29 cents. I bought 10 of them. So that was a really good buy and they're eight, oun eight ounce full. I'll get some smaller containers and just pour them into a small container and put them in both cars. That way when we need them, we have them. You know, you just make do the best you can. My daughter also gave me a, a container of hand sanitizer, also that's a better gel kind. 
No, we just do the best we can. We can't get ourselves all stressed out about all this virus stuff. We get a little here and a little there and do the best we can. But at least I'm better prepared than I was last year. It was like three, four months before you could even get hand sanitizers out here last year. Impossible to find everybody. And I'm not buying this to sell. I'm buying this for my own personal use and I'm hopefully I might buy one more of the good gel kind if I find it. If not, I think we're all right for the for the six months. I did buy a lot of beef gravy. I know it sounds crazy. I uh, couldn't find this, but just once in a while, so I stocked up on it too. And I'll give you a count of how much I have in the pantry when I'm done doing all the hauls. I'm still collecting stuff, still buying, so it'll probably be some time before I get everything I want or need some stuff already I'm having trouble finding and then I bought two of these soaps and I probably will buy two more uh, just to make sure we have enough soup, soup my thing, soap for six months that's really important also to make sure you have things to clean your dishes your clothes your walls things to sanitize stuff with we just do the best we can but it's better to start early and not be worried over here, these are just odds and ends that I got. Um, I did stock up. I do have a peanut butter already open and I bought a two pack because me and grandpa, even though there's two of us, do eat a lot of peanut butter. So I did get a, one of those. That'll probably last us for a while. I might buy one more, I might not. Because you know, I can still find a lot of these things and I can buy as I go. I'm still looking for things that are very difficult to find. I did buy a couple more cans of pink salmon as uh, there wasn't a lot to choose from so they're not the same but they're both pink salmon and I got some golden mushroom I use it to make soups and different things with and cooking my roast in it and I got some beef to also put in soup and stuff too to make it easier for grandma because she wants things to be easy and quick I had a lot of trouble last year finding these kind of soups. I still only have one can of cream of celery and two cans of chicken, uh, cream of chicken and one can of cream of mushroom. Now last year they did have cream of mushroom the whole time and they did have tomato soup and they did have uh, chicken noodle. Now I don't eat chicken noodle soup as a rule except if I make it from scratch. So I'm thinking this is probably I'm going to try to get some more cream of celery, but you know, I only can spend so much any given week. So this is what I bought this week for this prepping video. Like I said, I'm buying things that me and my husband eat and use. So when you're prepping your pantry, please buy what you, you eat and like. Don't buy what I buy because it may not be something you even like. A lot of people were surprised that spam was a hard thing to find last year. I found it difficult because that's what I eat. But, you know, every week, Grandma finds a few more things that she needs and a few more things that were very difficult to find. Last year, believe it or not, beef gravy by Campbell was really hard to find. I could find it here and there, but it could be out for a month to six weeks at a time. And right now, you can find it. And, of course, I don't want to buy everything there is out there. You don't want to be greedy. But I bought enough that I have enough for a while. My husband likes to make hamburger um, gravy over potatoes, and we have that about once every other week. And usually we use two cans, even for me and Grandpa. But it will be enough for a couple of meals apiece. So really, it's not that bad. So I'll have to add up how many more I might need, but I don't know if I'm going to worry about buying too much more than what I have. Because like I keep saying, I'm going to buy something every week from the store, and if I can't get it, I have enough on my stockpile to just go ahead and keep our normal eating habits going the way we normally eat. That's the whole part of, of prepping. Getting things that you personally eat in your family and getting enough things ahead to making sure you don't run out. But please don't forget about the hand sanitizer, the mask, and cleaning products. They were all difficult last year to find and we don't know how bad it's going to get. Honestly, I only think we had about a month and a half of maybe things being okay out here in California, and it's starting all over again. 
oh well, guess we're back sort of on a personal lockdown, whatever we want to do. Uh, we were planning on going to Arizona for Thanksgiving. I don't know. I may even scratch that off my list of things to do. Because it's starting back bad already this early in the season. It probably means another year of no holidays with the family. Oh my gosh, that was the saddest part of last year. I spent my Christmas by myself. I bought Christmas presents and had to just leave them on people's porches. So sad. And then another thing that was super sad was Halloween. The only ones we saw, and I bought candy for Halloween, the only one that came by was my twin granddaughters came by with their two children and I gave them some candy. That was it. It was the saddest Halloween I ever had. So last year was bad. I don't know if I'm going to buy candy this year at all. I'll wait and see. Probably not. Probably I'll just buy some nice special candies for my great grandchildren and give it to them ahead of time. And that'll be it. What else can I do? Another bad year. But this year I'm not being caught off guard. This year I will be prepared since I'm starting in August. Also, I'm going to be starting to do a lot of gardening videos coming your way and I'm going to start buying a lot of garden seeds. For I can put a fall garden in and put a spring garden in. So be prepared for a lot of gardening videos after I finish all these prepping videos. Hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends and family. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you're all adding one or two extra cans of food to your grocery shopping every week. See you in the next video. Thank you.